And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. You know, that passage has always made me think, you know, that sounds kind of rough, you know what I'm saying, chop your hand off. And, but you know, God is prophesying. He's always prophesying. And, you know, once he starts, you know, if you ask him to reveal things to you, he will reveal them to you. And he's prophesying. Not only that, he's telling us, you know, it's better to lose a hand than, you know, than for your whole body to go to hell. But what what did God do? Let's Let's think about it from God's perspective, you know. Jesus is referred to as, you know, the right hand or the right arm of God. At, you know, throughout Scripture, standing on the right hand, at the right hand, it can also be and can also mean in right standing. But think about this: in Scripture, it's prophesied that Jesus is going to be cut off. It uses that word "cut off." Okay. So he's going to be cut off, like in uh, Isaiah 53, 8. Okay, there's a place where it's prophesying about Jesus coming and dying for us. And it says he's going to be cut off from the land of the living. Think about that. God cut off his right hand, even though it was innocent. It was innocent and did everything perfect. You know? He cut off his right hand to save his body, the church. Think about that. That's amazing, ain't it? God is amazing. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.